hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video we are going to review this watch so this is a smart watch not particularly smart watch it is kind of a smart band so this is my chronos watch z time and i bought two of them and i have unboxed those in few weeks ago and i, I made a video about it so this is a review of this device and i have been using actually this device for a long time so as i said i have two of them so here i have one so this one I'm not using because uh, it is really heavy. So I just kept it in the box. So I've been using this device and I have changed the uh, strap here. So I'm using the, the strap here is actually magnetic type strap. Another strap which I got with this device is already broken because it was kind of leatherish type of thing, but it, it was not leather. So it's gone. So going with this device, this actually is a unique smart watch or band whatever you say i'm not saying this is a smart watch because it's not really that smart so because it is not running on any kind of android uh wire os or something like that so it's just a smart band of type of tip which has a smart watch like face and everything so comes with the build quality so this actually really has really build quality uh, good build quality so if you see here uh it's fully metal built there is nothing else yet fully metal built and it is really unique device because of few things first of all as you can see it is it has physical dial and also it has display so as you can see here it is not really in like as we see like in other watches like smart watches there is uh, like uh, always on display type of thing this is not really always on display these are physical dial and you can control those with your uh, app and also uh, like with moving the crown so we have three switches here and you can actually uh, um, change the way you want to use these short uh, buttons so in the app there are uh, option to change in new app actually the older uh, doesn't have this kind of thing i will say about firmware and other things uh, just a bit later so comes with the physical things as you can see here an interesting thing about this watch actually the charger so i got this charger with this device as you can see this charger this device has no kind of no pogo pin or anything like that so as you can see here so so how does it charges actually so this actually whole coil uh output the charge so this one is positive side or negative side this one is positive side or negative could something like that so both of it just connect with this thing and it charges so there is no pogo pin or anything like that you can put this device on this and it will start charging the device kind of really great actually so i haven't seen this kind of design in any kind of watch but mostly the watch comes with those have like pogo pins of thing like magnetically this is cool and this one also metal built thing and as you can see here my chronos designed in china so actually this one actually released back in 2018 and they're still producing uh, watches and bands but they are not really great in this kind of thing because of their uh, os and apps so i will talk about those kind of thing too so kind to come to the os part first so if you press this button it will show you the home screen if you put any watch faces you, you will see that and you can change and if you press again it will go turn off the screen so if you press the home but uh, like the middle button which has crown just press it it will sh it will illuminate the physical crown as you can see to see at night and if you if you if you just round it if you are in home screen if you spin it you can see your messages and notification if you spin it so whenever you are in message or anything like that the crown will position in the middle as you can see here automatically it position now if i go back it will automatically change to the the time is it in so and if you press this one it will do like you can assign the shortcut here so I, now i assign the like the music control thing here so just apple music and other things and if i come to if you swipe from here so from top you can see your shortcut so previously the shortcut menus were different so yesterday i got a firmware update which was 2.1 let me show you so in my phone i have taken a screenshot actually while i'm updating the device so the update was like it take actually 30 to 45 minutes as you can see here so previous build was like 1.7 and i have updated to 2.0 build and this firmware update came on my 
Micronos app. So previously I was using this app. The the was the app was actually Z Time app, which was outdated one. And I have installed Micronos app and just connect my device and it started working here too. So if I open this one, so as for now I have turned off the. Okay, let's turn it on. So it will connect now. So the app here is not really great. It is very, very laggy. And I don't really like anything about this. So as you can see, the messages are appearing now because I have connected the device. Let, 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 let the key phone aside. Now, you can actually dismiss these messages like this. These are gone. Or if you want to see those messages, just spin the crown. You got them. And as you can see, the crown are positioned here. Now, if you want to go back, you can use this or this button, whatever you want. Now, if you swipe left to right, so you will see like your physical status and other things like those or activities and other things. So if you go step and you have your uh, whatever your distance and other things and your calorie burning and other things. And also you can set stopwatch and other things. So those things are here. And if you press this one, you will be in the home screen again. And if you swipe uh, right to left and then you see other things here so you can measure heart heart rate and the heart rate here actually i have checked with my, my b band six, uh, six and both of them actually have similar kind of result so quite similar and if you swipe one more time you have call messaging and other things and if you swipe one more time you will see other things here music your sleep counter alarm and other things then there is another button here if you press those and there will be few more things like calendar find my phone and other things stopwatch and if you go to the setting so there are general if you go to general you can change your language units bluetooth option and watch info if you go to watch info you can see so this is my chronos model z time and version of the firmware is 2.0 as you can see build 58 hopefully you can see uh, 2.0 build 58 so i just showed you in my and if you are in like setting and other things, if you want to go back, you can use this button. So it will go back. If you press this one, it will directly take you to home screen. And also you have like time, you can select your time. Also you can calibrate your time. So there is a unique way to calibrate your time. Usually what happened actually, whenever you connect this device, the physical crown will not sync with the time if you, your phone is. You have to do it manually. So there is two ways you can do that. You can go to calibration section and you can directly do that with crown or there is another option so if you if you go to your phone okay let me let, let me unlock it so if you go to micronos and if you go to setting option and let, let, let the device connect to the phone as you can see it connected now so you can go to advanced section the app is quite laggy as you can see it's, it takes time so then you can go to calibration and yes now if you put here now it will it will ask you to put the phone as you can see it activated now you have to put the phone directly on the the the, the face of the dial directly on this now as you can see it it just sync the time and it changed the time so now it, it, it make it okay let, let's do it again so So let's let's calibrate it again. Just just a moment. Uh, <clears throat> so that app is, as you can see, very laggy, and it takes a lot of time sometimes. So because of that, actually, I don't really use this watch. Also, I don't really like watches. I just bought this one. It was it was unique, and it was also it was cheap. So that's why I bought this device. So let's 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 do it again. So if I go to micro notes and okay, let me dismiss this one. So let's go to advanced section and as you can see the app is calibration. So let's try to calibrate the dial again. So if you put, as you can see here it's showing the and it will turn on the camera. Just you have to put position your dial with your device. And it will automatically adjust the time as you can see it automatically adjusted the time as you can see here 
So for some reason, it is coming back again and again. It's because we are in rotary mode. So if we, if we do again, it will be in it will be in the same position as it's in. So okay. So now, as you can see, that time is set. So I don't know why they don't do it. Like if you sync the time, it directly don't do that. So you have to do it manually like this. Uh, it is kind of unique thing, but it is not really a great thing. So another thing about this device actually, it has vibration and also it has like the sound. So it can make sound actually, it has a speaker building. So you can see vibration and sound. Okay, let's, let's, let's go again to the screen. Okay, and if I go back, as you can see sound here, so you can turn on the sound. And whenever someone send you messages or anything like that, you will hear the sound. <coughs> now let's go back. We also have do not disturb and other things here. A lot of features here, but um, still not really great. Not really usable that much. So activities, there are heart rate and goals, not really much. Like other Mi Band and other things has a lot of, a lot of stuff. So this one don't like doesn't have anything like that so, and also that like the the home is like it's screen uh, home screen you have you can set up with like if you press it and you'll show you few of the screen as you can see here you can swipe left or right to choose one and you can't really there is no third-party app to give you uh, this watch faces so just you can use whatever app and also if you triple tap on this actually it's sometime a uh, position the watch so as you can see here, if I triple tap, okay, if you are in like here, if, as you can see the messages, whenever you are in message, it will position this one. And when you go back, it will come to the same spot. What is, and you will hear that they are moving, they're, they're, the gears are moving. Now, this is all about the device. Now come to the app. So app is actually terrible here, not really great app. So first of all, as you can see the home screen, I don't really use this device that much. And the battery life also not really great on this device I have, but this one has really great battery life. I don't know why this one is having this kind of issue. Maybe because a uh, long time this device never been used for a long time. That's why it having this kind of issue. But still, if your device is connected with the phone for always maybe three days it will run properly and one month it will run without like if your device is turned off still one month uh, the physical dial will work and it will show you the correct time and then no issue about that now there are few other things here as you can see here the times automatically changed and it is a wrong time so if we go to like here we have also reminders and other things and the app is terrible as i said as you can see it always load z time app were much better but this is updated version of z time app which is terrible and if you go here you can go to your profile and heart rate and you can't measure heart rate directly from the app you have to use your uh, device to measure the heart rate so that's that's also not really great and if I go here also, you can choose notification for your devices and everything here. And you can use set the goals for your step and other things. Also, you can take photo, but whenever you take photo, it will use their own app here. And it's not really, I don't think it is a great thing to do with because uh, I don't feel safe about this kind of thing. Also, there are a few other things here. You can watch, you can use this watch left mode or right mode is up to you also you can put it like this um, so there are is there an option to do that too actually so if you go if i go to left mode as you can see here it changes the dial to other side and it is using 12 o'clock is like this side now if i photo again change it now it is using 12 o'clock this side so hopefully you can see, okay, let me show you again, left mode, when you have left mode, as you can see, it changed it. So you can put where the watch is now, watch this, this way now, but whenever is you turn off the left mode, you can use your watch if you, as a, this way. So there is two way you can use this watch. So whatever you want to use. And also there are night mode, you can choose date and time. Also the weather app is here. 
which I have already turned off. Actually, I don't really use that much, this kind of thing. And also the button, as I said, you can you can customize this button. So if you go to button customization, you can choose. So as you can, as you can see, now I have assigned standby mode, none and music. As I said, if I press this mu button, it will open the music section. And if you log into the Spotify, so there is a way you can log into your Spotify account. If you go to music, they will ask you to log into your Spotify account. In that way, you can listen music directly and control music directly here and also wrist flick which is like if you flick the screen it should turn on the display and it is not really great here so as you can see here i'm trying uh, yeah it worked a bit now it's gone so it, it doesn't work each and every time and it work now so let's let's try it again let's flick as you can see it didn't work so not really great wrist flick and other things and also you can choose the screen on time so here is now it's 10 seconds you can do 15 seconds or every anything so if i choose 15 seconds i don't think it will stay 15 seconds because for some reason this watch is uh working weirdly i don't know why and as you can see here not really 15 seconds so it's showing still and also you can choose there are many options but not really good one also in activity and tracking and other things you can do uh, and also a weather section here you can do it auto or other things and if you go to home page you can see like uh, activity graph and celsius and other things also if you want to change the home screen so it should be somewhere here so if i go like go to setting so as you can see 43 percent battery left so if i go here you can see watch faces and these are the watch faces available for this device and there is no more and there is no third party apps i i don't know if there is but but I, d I didn't find anything like that. So you have to use these watch faces, which are, uh, there are not really much. As you can see, how many of them there? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 watch faces. And that's that's all for this device. Not only for this device, all the Z-Time app, Z-Time watches use the same thing, that kind of thing. And this is quite old type of watch because it's released back in 2018. But... It is actually really great build watch. I have never seen this kind of watch before and it is really great. And also it does support 5 ATM water resistance support and many things it has actually. And for what I have got, uh, the information I got about this device actually, it has a sapphire glass. I'm not really sure it is a sapphire glass or not. I'm not going to test. But according to the specification of this device, it has a sapphire glass and this one is titanium body. I don't really know it is a titanium or not, but according to the device and the booklet and the, the information I got, this one is uh, has a titanium body, another one has a metal body. The specification you can see on the box actually. So as you can see, Micronos Z-Time Regular Elite and Metal Link. The another one is Z-Time Titanium actually. So the box is somewhere else now, I can't show you, but it is there. And I also checked their website, the, the website of their is still working and also they have facebook uh, page which are also active and uh, kind of a very good device but the application and the firmware of this device actually not really great rather than that it tracks everything well actually so heart rate monitor is well and also the message syncing and other things well you can receive the call from directly from this device it's also there and this has actually legit uh, like not really fake kind of heart rate monitor or anything like that this helps uh, the the hardware here is really great and it is authentic hardware as you can see here it's not really fake or anything like that and kind of a unique device if you have like experience this kind of device if you find one of these try to experience really great device but not really recommended for anyone because the software is terrible here also i don't really like any kind of watches because I really use Mi Band only and I don't really want any messages in my watch or band. I don't really see messages or like reply messages from my watch or anything. I just use my uh, watch or Mi Band just for tracking my health tracking and also alarm. Just two things I do with my things and also I use it for time to look the time. So that's it. So that's all about Z Time F. If you have one of these, you can. Uh, comment below your experience and other things and if you have used one of these you can also share your experience not really a terrible device i will say 
great build quality but the software is not really great on these devices and i really like this device and it's heavy actually the device is quite heavy uh, that's why i'm not using but it's really cute and the build quality is awesome on this device and as i said i got this device really cheap for ten dollars two of them in new condition it's really great price for me so i got this device so that's all about my chronos z time thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time Thank you.